why would I invest my money with you and your flips instead of just do it myself? Say I got my 500K and I, maybe I just want to go to Kansas City and I want to start fixing and flipping properties and selling them to turnkey investors. Why, why would that be a tough move? Well, for a, lot of time, for a lot of people, they don't really factor in all the timing that it does take for one initial property. We usually get two to three bids per property to do that. Um, and it's, you know, different markets, different timing of the year, winter, if it's winter like North um, Indianapolis, I've done some real estate up there, it can be colder. There's a lot of different factors investors initially do not factor in with when investing. Um, we've lived some of those nightmares. So for me, um, if, they're, if you're a novice level, that means you haven't flipped at least 30 to 50 houses in your area where you can manage it on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, it's probably, it's the highest risk you can take in real estate. But there's so many videos on YouTube that, that says fixing and flipping is easy and you could do it with no money down. Are you telling me it's hard? <laughs> yeah, uh, I've lost money um, opening markets myself, my own money, six figure type money, just going through the battles and the property management battles and just knowing the areas and it's nobody else's fault but my own. So from a risk standpoint, it's probably the highest risk you can take. And just knowing the people, um, getting credible contractors, getting a credible property management is just, it's just a tough task when you're not there on a day-to-day -day basis. Or if you have time to fly out there at least every bi-weekly, you would be in a better position, but doesn't mean you're going to be in a winning position. When you're doing these fix and flips, because, you know, in, in the rental real estate business, as property managers, you know, we can't live on site with the tenants. That's terrible. So we can't always predict what the tenants are going to do. So anytime you're investing in rental real estate, there's a, a level of variability to it. With the flick, fix and flip fund, you've, you've done, uh, I believe you said, over a thousand fix and flips in your career. Would you say that it's, it's really lowered some of the risk? Because, I mean... You're, you know your markets, right? You know what you're doing. Um, you know, more or less, you're, you're, you're looking at a property. You know what the rental cost is going to be, more or less, and you know what the exit cost is going to be, more or less. So would you say a fix and flip is kind of less risky than uh, long-term rental investing? I mean, um, again, that's going to be the comfortability of the investor or how they feel at that time. But for me, uh, passive income, steady stream of income, uh, maybe not being locked into a singular asset, worrying about if it's tenanted or not um, is safer. That's why I like the private placement memorandum so much better. So with me being the funding manager, I inherit all those headaches.